right, welcome everybody to Wednesday Night In. We're gonna start tonight on our back. Everyone in the studio is already there, so you can join us whenever you're ready. first few minutes just allow yourself to arrive distractions to the background. Allow yourself to be just fully focused. thing about yin is it allows us to become aware of our bodies.
you're moving here. Oh, we're going to do it first, right? Take your knees, just hug them into your chest. Just let yourself rock back and forth, side to side a couple times with your knees hugged in. That little spinal massage, feel good. into your chest here, right? Now your choice, you can take your hands, bring them behind your right knee to your right thigh and kind of hold right there, right? Or you can kick that right leg all the way up to the sky if you want and just keep it straight. You can support your leg like that, right? So you decide, what we're gonna do though, we're gonna point our toes out, right? So here I am with my leg extended, my toes are pointed towards the ceiling. If you keep your knee bent, maybe your toes are pointed more towards the floor or to the wall, right? And that's okay, right? Doesn't the angle of your leg doesn't matter, but we're gonna move that foot. So you're going to start to make circles with your ankles. So with your toes pointed right, you're just going to make those little circles around. It doesn't matter which direction you go first. Just do four or five right here. And then take those circles the opposite direction.
to a T. And then you're just gonna let both knees fall over to the left, right? So what's gonna happen is you're gonna come down. Now, your right foot is gonna land right on the mat. Okay, so your right knee is going up to the sky. Keeping your gaze over your right shoulder. Right, if you want to here, take your left hand and just push that right knee, the inside of your right knee, up. Right, now pull it down. Push it up. Open up those hips a little bit. Different sensation. And keep your right arm going out. Just gonna hold here for the minute or so. Here. And you're going to use that right foot now. Draw that left knee back up. So now your left foot's going to go flat to the floor. Your right ankle's still here on top of your left knee. Okay. And what you're going to do here, you're just going to slide that right leg all the way over. So now your knees are touching each other. Right? Instead of your ankle on top of your knee, your right knee is on top of your left knee. And then from there, pick up your left foot, pull your knees in towards your chest. Right? It's just like you're hugging into your knees. They're just that little hugging your knees into your chest. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> your knees are in that little crisscross. All right? Now from here, if it's available to you, you're going to reach up with your left hand and grab your right ankle. With your right hand, reach up, grab your left ankle. Let everything relax. So we're now here in this kind of gentle paper clip, right? Pulling your knees in towards your body. If you want a little more, you can pull those ankles away from your body as you pull the hips in. That'll give you a lot of sensation. You don't have to do that, or you can keep it all relaxed. Just pull the knees towards the chest. But again, you should still be feeling this in your right hip.
all the way up now, so you're just here in this constructive rise pose. We're gonna do those poses on the other side now, right? So remember, we started, we're gonna ex with that right knee hugged in, so now we're gonna extend that right leg and let the left knee hug all the way in. <laughs> right, once you've got that left knee hugged into your chest, so to stir the pot in one direction. Right, so do the same circles, just go the opposite way. And we plan as going. Hopefully you remember. <laughs> Body will tell you if you ever don't remember, right? Try doing it one way. Your body's like, yeah, we did this, it'll tell you. But your body remembers we did it already. Right, now come to a stop here. Right, and now Either you're just going to take your hands to behind your left thigh, hold it like that, point your toes towards the ground or towards the wall, right? Or you can take your left leg all the way straight to the sky, point the toes towards the ceiling. That's up to you. And then from there, start to make those circles with your ankle. Yeah, it doesn't matter which direction you go first. Just circle those toes around. Right? If your toes are going up towards the sky, you're drawing little circles on the ceiling. If your toes are going towards the wall, you're drawing those circles on the wall. If your toes are pointed towards the ground, you're drawing those circles on the ground. Stop. Right now, you're going to hug your left knee all the way in again, right? Take your hands to the top of your knee and angle it just a little bit towards your left armpit. Just a little bit of tightness. We're just going to take about three breaths here. From there, now you're going to bend, bring your, so for, bring your left knee back center, bend into your right knee so your right foot comes to the ground. And then just take your right ankle, or left ankle, put it on top of your right knee. So now your left knee is falling open that figure four. Right? So you can stay right here. Maybe this is enough for you. Right? You're trying to get that sensation going in the left hip. If you need to, you can lift up your right foot and start to draw your right thigh in towards your body. Take your left hand to the out inside of your right thigh, right hand to the outside of your right thigh, so you can only lift your hands around that thigh as you pull it towards you, right? That makes it like a lever that you can control. If you need more, you pull harder. If you need less, you back it off, pull less. Right? You can always kick your right foot up to the sky. That makes it feel better. Or you can always drop that right heel all the way to the right glute and wrap the hands around the shins. Not the shin, right? just the right knee, right shin. You can always take your left elbow and push that left knee open. Right, that gives you more sensation, different sensation. If you want that, it's an option. Find your edge here. You want lots of sensation going on in the left hip. Not so much that you can't hang here for a couple minutes. You don't have to look exactly the same as you looked on the other side. The side's going to feel different, so you're going to look different. Right? But you want to get that same sensation going, right? You want to go as deep as you did on the other side. That doesn't mean that if you had 
have your right shin all the way to your chest, you need your left shin all the way to your chest here to go as deep. Right? Maybe going as deep on the left side means your shin is halfway to your chest. Maybe you have more space on this side. It's taking you a little bit more to get that sensation going. You have that extra space taken. behind that right thigh. Just a little bit of that right foot come back down to the mat. Right now we're going to take that little twist here so we can open up left inner thigh a little bit more. So you're going to let your knees go over to the right. So your left foot's going to go flat to the ground. Your arms are out long in that T position. And again here, if you want to make this more, you take your right hand and you push that left knee towards the ceiling. Don't pull it down towards the floor, pulling against it. Push it open. So it keeps that inner thigh a little bit on the left side. If you don't want to do that, you just keep your right arm out to the teeth. Stay right here. We're going to stay here for another minute or so. Here, right, use that left foot, draw your right knee back up. So now your right foot comes back to the floor, right? You're gonna slide that left foot over. So that now your left knee is on top of your right. Instead of your left foot being on top of your right knee, your left knee is on top of your right knee. And then you're gonna draw your knees in toward your chest. Again, here, you take your right hand, grab onto your left ankle, take your left hand, grab onto your right ankle, and you're just gonna pull those knees in a little closer to your body, so you get a little more sensation going in that left hip. Maybe it's a lot for you, right? You pull it way into your chest. Maybe it's more relaxed for you, right? If you want to make it more, maybe you pull the ankles a little bit away as you pull them in. Maybe you don't bother with that, right? I want you to be feeling something in the left hip, just like in that eye and needle. You don't need to feel so much if this pose turns from yin into yang. Right? You're taking and pulling and counting the breaths until we're done, right? It's not that to relax into it.
Pinch your ankles and let that right foot come back to the floor. <laughs> We're going to take your legs out long. Both legs are out long now. Right? Take your arms overhead. Put your toes, again, like they're the tip of a pencil, and reach your fingertips towards the back of your arms. Take this nice full body stretch here. And from there, we're going to roll over just to one side or the other. Push yourself up into a tabletop. So you're going to come up to that hands and knees pose. If you need to pad underneath your knees, do that. Right? You can put your blanket under there, cushion or something like that. So we're going that eventually. We're going to stay on the left knee for a little bit here. And once you're in your tabletop, take your right leg and just extend it long behind you. Right? So you're pushing those right toes towards the back wall. Just stay there for a couple breaths. Push, press, push, push. push. Push the right toes towards the back wall. Push your right heel towards the back wall. So we feel that stretch through the calf. And then from there, you're just going to take that right foot, step it all the way out to the side. Okay. And then take your right hand. You're going to bring your right hand around your back. Now take your right foot and set it next to your left hand. Okay, so you bend into that left knee. Or just that right knee, sorry. Then you're gonna release your right hand. Now both hands are gonna come down inside the right foot. All right, if you need to move your left knee back, you want your left hip, you probably can't really see. Well, my left hip is back, my left knee is back behind my left hip, not right on top, right? So it's like a little lunge here. Right. Now, once you get here, you're on your palms, take your right toes, turn them completely out to the right. As much as you can, right? It might be more like a kitty corner to the front right corner of the room, but maybe you can turn over completely towards the right wall. It just depends on your body, right? Now, I'm gonna give you some options here. You can stay right here on your palms, right, just like this. If it feels okay, maybe you drop down to your elbows if you have a block or a blanket or something there, and let them land there, right? Maybe you wanna take your right hand, push into the inside of that right knee, push the right, push up onto the knife edge of the right foot so you have the inside edge of my right foot has come up off the mat as I push, right? So you can do that if you want. You don't have to. You can keep both elbows on the ground. You can just keep both palms on the ground. here. If you're up with the knife as your foot, let your foot come back down flat. Bring your palms to the mat, right? So you look just like this. Keep your foot where it is. Right. Now all we're going to do from here, you're going to walk your hands out in front of you as much as you can. Right? So now my hands are way out in front, right? So you can almost lie down. Maybe you can drop down to your elbows here. Maybe you can bring your head down to the mat here. I can't quite do it. Right? You're opening up. Your hands just come in inch two in front and that's all you can do, that's okay, right? But bring your wrists out from underneath your shoulders, let your fingertips and your wrists reach towards the front of the room. Toes are pointed towards the top of your mat. Now 
From there, take your left hand, wrap it around behind your back. Let's look over towards your left toes. Now you're just gonna step them next to your right hand. Now we're in this little lunge position here. I'm gonna take my left hand around, bring my left hand to the inside of my left foot. When you move that right knee back, make sure that your right knee's back behind your right hip, not right underneath it. Now take your left toes, turn them all the way to the left. As much as you can, right? I'm totally facing the left wall, that's okay. Now you're up on your palms. If you want to stay right here on your palms, your toes just turned a little bit out, that's okay. If you want to drop it down to your elbows, that's okay. Right? If you want to take that left hand, push into your left knee, come off the knife edge of your left foot. You can take it deep like that. And decide where you want to be here. Here. Now, if you're up on the knife edge of your left foot, let that left foot come back down. Everybody's going to come up to their palms if you weren't already, and then just start to walk your hands forward a little bit, right? So your hands come in front of your foot, in front of your shoulders, lie down on the mat. Want to drop down to your elbows? You can drop down to your elbows. Just get on your palms or your fingertips. You can do that. I'm not going to stay as long here. Just about five more breaths. I'm going to get my elbows because it feels good. Do what feels good, right? here, right? Either you can come to cow face legs or you can come to easy sit, right? In cow face legs, you're going to take your right heel, bring it underneath so that it tucks right outside your left hip and your right knee points towards the front of the room. Then you step that left foot over and you bring that left heel just outside your right hip. Ideally, your knees stack right on top of each other, right? This doesn't work quite like that for everybody, certainly not for me, right? I've got some space there, but I can hang out here and it feels okay. Now, if this doesn't feel good to you, right, then you're just gonna be in easy sit, which looks like this. If you're coming to easy sit, bring that left leg in front because that's what we have in our cow face, right? So we're gonna do both sides. Now, once you're here, you're just gonna take your hands up to the sky. So reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Okay? And then bend into your right elbow Pat yourself on the back of your right hand. So you want your right elbow going straight up towards the sky, right? Your fingertips are coming between your shoulder blades, pointing towards the ground. Now bend into your left elbow. Just grab the tip of that right elbow and push down. Okay, so you're starting to get that stretch in the right tricep. Now see how your right elbow is pointed straight up towards the sky. We want to keep that right elbow in line with the crown of your head. Right now, the crown of my head, elbow, both pointed the same direction. But if you want to here, you can start to lean forward a little bit. Right? But don't let your hands come down. It's not here. If you're leaning forward, right, you're going to keep that elbow in line with the crown of your head. If you want to stay sitting up, then stay sitting up. It's up to you. I just want you to take about four more breaths here, wherever you are, leaning forward, coming up. Now, 
you lean forward, rise up here. Everybody's gonna release their hands. Right? And just take your hands right in front of your shins and just walk forward here, even if you didn't when you had your triceps, right? You do that when you were adding that tricep. Just walk over your left thigh here as much as you can. Right? Maybe it's just an inch, your hands are just an inch in front of your knees. Right? Maybe you can get all the way up to the chin with that left knee. each other right so this is your cow face legs here if this is not comfortable to you right if you want to hang out here then you're pulling you into easy sit if you're in easy sit this time your right leg comes in front right because that's how it is in the cow face pose right now from here we take our hands up to the sky first just lengthen out and then just bend straight into your left elbow pat yourself on the back with your left hand right? elbows going straight up to the sky you bend into your right elbow and you're pushing to the tip of that left elbow so you're trying to push those fingertips further down your back like they could touch the ground feel that opening in the left tricep you to hang out right here for a couple breaths focusing on that sensation going on in your left arm and your left tricep Want to you start to lean forward here while you still have your triceps again if you're going to lean forward right make sure that the tip of the left elbow stays even with the crown of your head right you don't want anything dropping down it's not here right? you get the chance to go fully into the fold eventually if you want to stay up right now that's an option Shins, it's okay. 
point your legs. And we're gonna lay down on our back. Next, once your legs are unwound and you're here in this hook line, just take your arms out long, tuck your chin to your chest, lay back on your back. Now as we first come to our backs here, we're gonna come into a reclining bound angle. So you're gonna bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees fall up to the sides. Do whatever you want with your hands, rest them on your belly, rest them at your sides. Dip them to a T if you want. You can use those hands to press your inner thighs open. You're pressing on your inner thighs or on your knees, right? You're just opening up your legs a little bit more. Or you can take your hands overhead if you feel like you want to open up your upper body a little bit more. Or wherever you are, if you want more sensation in your legs, move those heels a little closer to your body. If you want to back it off a little bit, you can push those heels further away. Get more of a diamond shape. Give yourself more space. I want you to stay right here in your back ankle. I'm going to stay for another minute or two. Just right here. It should feel nice and relaxing. You can find somewhere where it does. Now, if you have a block here, what we're going to do is we're going to come into a supported bridge. So you're just going to lift your hips up. Slide that block underneath you. Let your hips just rest on the block. If you don't have a block in your home, right? If you have a, a cushion or something you can put underneath your hips, lift them up just a little bit, do that. If you don't have anything and you want to come into an unsupported bridge because you like that, you can do that. Or if you don't have a block or anything, you don't love unsupported bridge, just take your hands, make little fists. You're gonna bring this longer back. Let your hips rest down on your fists. Let's see it like this. So that's a good place to go. If you have a block and you want to make this more intense, you can always try to the block up a level. And have it on its low level, now it's on its medium level. If you can take it to its high level, that's an option. It's not an option for me, but for some people it is. Right? Your hands are gonna be at your sides. Now if you're in an unsupported bridge, or if you're using your fists, right, you're gonna stay right there. If you have a block or something else elevating your hips a little bit, you wanna add on to this, maybe you wanna to come to extended bridge. That's where you extend your legs. Now my legs are extended, and you can't see me, right? My toes are up to the sky, my knees are up to the sky. I don't wanna let everything fall open, right? It's hard for me to hold this with my knees and my toes, not falling out. A little bit so we can see a little bit better. Right here I am, I'm extending my legs. See how my toes 
keyboard up, my knees are up. That's a lot of work for me to keep my legs like this. My body kind of naturally wants to let everything hang out. So my toes turn out, my knees turn out. I don't want you to do that, right? If it feels like too much work for you to keep them up to the sky, that poses it for you, right? So you're gonna bend your knees and keep your feet on the ground, keep your knees over your hips. Extended bridge does feel good to you, then you should go there. Lots of different options, right? I'm not here to tell you which one is right for your body. Your body is here to tell you which one's right for your body. Right? So listen to it, let it choose. It'll tell you what it needs. Another minute or so here. Now we're just going to let them drop the other way. Finish off, so letting your knees drop over to the left as your chin or gaze come here to the right. You want to take your left hand, press deeper, press those knees deeper, press them closer to the mat if you can. If you want to extend your legs, your toes go towards your fingertips if you can. Whatever you're doing, you keep this right shoulder anchored. Shavasana. So let your legs extend long here. 
Take your hands to your sides. That's your traditional Shavasana where you're flat on your back. You can stay there if you like it. Right? If you don't, find somewhere else to go. You can bend your knees, you can butterfly your legs. Slowly, start to come back into the room. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Feeling the increase in sensation. Come to the quiet mind. If you want to, you can take your arms overhead. Do a nice full deep body stretch. Right from there, just roll over onto your right side in a fetal position. Take a couple breaths right there just to reacclimate to our space the sights, the sounds of the room come back to you. Take as long as you need right here. And when you're ready, and when you're ready, push yourself up to seated. And we will close here. which is our two Bumari breaths and then an Om. The Bumari breath we inhale as we exhale make that little humming sound in the back of the throat. Do two of those, two Bumari breaths, and the Om is the universal syllable it uses all parts of the throat. If you want to join me in the breaths, you can join me. If you'd rather just listen, then just listen. Let's close our eyes here and we'll inhale together. in 
inhale one final time and om. Um. Let your eyes drift open. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you, all of you, for sharing your energy, your practice with me this evening. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. I'll be back on Saturday. Do some slow flow, so come join me then. Uh, Angie's going to be here tomorrow for more yin if you want that, so come join her, and I will see you guys all Saturday.